All right, so Demir, you said ahead of this, but it was do or die, and yes. you delivered. But uh, I think a little bit surprising, somewhat split decision. Uh, yeah, wow. I was like, you see me walking, at, uh, looking at the Bruce Buffer, you know, what the hell? Mm -hmm. In my opinion, it cannot be a, because, come on, man, it's his face. I think I broke his nose. Look at me, you know, I was in the middle all the time. Mm -hmm. He didn't take me down. I That point where, you know, he thought it was take the, uh, takedown, he stepped on my foot and I fell down. Mm -hmm. I don't know how the hell. You know who was that? Was that uh, that guy Cyril or the Cecil, Cecil people? people. <laughs> oh, fuck, man! Is Cecil back? <laughs> yeah, what? The, I don't know. What is this, man? Yeah, but it was crazy. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, they say don't leave it to the hands of the judges. But come on, man. I mean, you know, I needed a swim. It's mm. not like I I can afford to go out and swing it. You know, I really want to stand the UFC. I love the UFC, so I want to have a good win. But you know, uh, a good clean win, you know, not too many un-risky, uh, how you say, um, yeah, you know, risk risk uh, options and do some crazy shit mm -hmm. in this win. Next fight, Simon Concha and I do some crazy shit. Then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you are coming off of that loss, so did you feel pressure coming into this fight? And if so, did you learn anything from that that helped you, you know? Yes, definitely. I learned to be more composed. As you see me now, mm -hmm. I wasn't crazy. When I hit him, I safely jumped on him, not crazy, like in Brazil, where I was like swarming him and then he took me down. Like a couple of times, you know, mm -hmm. so I'm like, what am I doing? You know, and now this fight was more cool and calm and collected. Mm -hmm. So it was a much more strategic fight. It was much more chess game. And you know, my Nick, props to the fucking guy. Oh, sorry, can I curse? Yeah, yeah. yeah. For that fucking guy could take a punch, man. I'm serious, man. I'm like, I feel my hands. I gave him some good <laughs> shots. I could see his face started to swell up in the fight. You know, he didn't seem dazed or rocked, and when he did seem rocked, he just came back. I'm like, damn, you know, this guy's a tank. So props to that guy for taking some punches. That third round, you had you hadn't closed, you knocked him down. Yeah. Like, you know, what do you feel yeah. was missing to get the finisher? I the, the the sense of uh, what state he was in. Hmm. Because I didn't know if uh, if you know when he came, I I punched, but I didn't know if I hit him while he was unbalanced and he just, you know, went out of balance. Mm. I couldn't see that. So I didn't want to take any unnecessary uh, risk of him taking me down. Maybe, you know, give me some damage or because I really needed this win. And I'm not saying I played it safe. I did not. I came fight. You see me? I did not back. I stayed in the middle. I controlled the fight. You know, I did what I have to do. But still, you know, I wanted to be in the UFC, so I don't want to take any unnecessary risk. I want to, of course, I want to finish him. My goal is always always to finish. But a decision win is also good for me. I said before this, everything what it, what it is, decision, knockout, submission, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. I love UFC. I want to stay in the organization. This is the best place in the world for MMA. Nobody can be compared to the UFC. So, you know, I want to be here. Did so you I say hope. your contract is, is over now? Yeah, it was my last fight on a contract. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Were there any talks heading into this fight about your contract, or how does it? Yes, they it say we see after this fight. I think um, I, he say after when you win, we will talk with uh, Sean. So I hope I made an. I don't know. I have to watch the fight. I have to see it in a third angle. But was it good enough fight? I don't the third know. Third round was fantastic. Okay, not boo. Uh, like no, 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 okay. no boos. Okay, I hope that. Yeah. <laughs> but you have no interest in in uh, looking at other options. If free agent, if you were a free agent, no, 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 hell no. I want to be in the UFC, the best place in the world, 100%. Nobody can be compared to the UFC. No, no media. UFC is top dog, 100%. I see the other organizations. They are like stump organizations. UFC is loud. Everybody knows UFC. People don't know MMA. They know UFC. Oh, UFC fighter. I'm an MMA fighter in the UFC. But you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. You know, UFC fighter is a brand. Yeah. So 100% UFC. So, like I said, he hit him with a lot of hard shots. Uh, was there anything that was sort of difficult? Like, as it seemed like you started to find your rhythm a bit more towards the fight. But what, do you, what were the most challenging aspects of this fight? Uh, he I, uh, surprised me. He stood orthodox. I thought he, he's a southpaw fighter. Mm -hmm. Then he came out. I'm like, okay, a lot of people do that to try to confuse you. But like, hey, I'm orthodox fighter. I don't have to think. Then I'm just on autopilot. Mm -hmm. And then he switched a little bit orthodox. Then I'm like, oh, okay, now I have to think. But then I hit him. Then he went back. Like, okay. What are you trying to do? I don't know, but it was in my favor. Yeah. Maybe he thought he would mess with my brain, but I think he messed with himself, you know. And, uh, you know, he hit me sometimes. I felt like, whoa, he has some power. Because he hit me in the glove, I could still throw some of the punches. So, mm. okay, I don't want to get hit too much. 
you know, he didn't hit me clean, you know, but I don't want to take any unnecessary damage, you know. You know, uh, we, MMA fighters, we're smart fighters. We just, we don't go in just and fucking brawl, you know, mm -hmm. unnecessary damage. We're trying to look big. We want to have a long career. I do. You know, I want to live long. See MMA. Yeah. yeah. So with one knockout, uh, devastating knockout win now, and now a solid three-round war, where do you feel to go yeah, from here? Split like, decision. Yeah? Yeah. What the hell, man? Come on. Both. Cecil. <laughs> Where you at? But what do you feel is the next step for you now? Like, yeah, I don't care. I, listen, man. I started with a step up in the opponent. Yeah, you know true. what I mean? True. I never said no to anybody. Look, I got second fight, the guy Martian Hell, one of the best rappers in the world. Third fight, he only lost one fight, a guy in Brazil. I went to his hometown, you know, in Belém, in the rainforest. I fought at 11.30 at night in these conditions. I didn't feel good. I have no excuses, you know. Everything mm -hmm. went bad in my cut, even though I made weight. You know, I'll fight anybody. I said it before. Ask anybody. Did I say no to any fight? Never. I say always, bring them. Oh, I don't care. I'm here to fight. When you're in UFC, you got obligation. You fight everybody. You don't choose, pick and choose. You know, no yeah. respect for those guys. And a lot of people probably didn't know coming into this fight that you actually had a cut, uh, which you were taking care yeah, of. Yeah. How worried were you during the no, fight? No, I didn't that? think about it at all because I pampered it. Mm. The last two weeks, so they couldn't see it all. You can't see nothing. Yeah? Yeah. But you know, Gustav Songo pulled from a fight with Musasi for similar reasons. Yes, but his was visual, visible. It was a week before, mine was two. And then I pampered it. Mm. I, you know, did everything I could not to get it. See, look yeah. at me now. Yeah, as good as usual. Yes. It's good, but yeah. No, man, of course, you gotta, you never know what can happen. You see now, Uzdemir should have fought this night, mm -hmm. but what happened? Yeah. He just broke his nose. Mm -hmm. If he did not take the fight, if he take this fight, what the hell Shogun is a fucking good opponent to have? Yeah. Even if you want to lose, so it was a bad mistake. See, the cost him. Mm -hmm. You can never say, oh, this is a better fight. You never know what's, what ways that you, you know, don't play with destiny. How do we get a UFC to Denmark? Yes, can you do that? bring UFC <laughs> to Denmark. Hey, listen, we have mess, we have me. They have some other guys they can sign. Definitely, because listen, you, Denmark, look at the map where Denmark is. It's in the center of the north. You have Malmö, that's Sweden, 20 minutes with train. You have on the other side, England, Scotland, Ireland. You have north, Norway, a little bit north, you know, Finland, south, Poland, Germany, uh, a little bit to the left. You have Holland, you know, France, all Poland. these countries. What? Poland. Yeah, I said Poland, did I? Yeah. <laughs> hey, all this, we sent Denmark in the center of the north is the, you know, it only makes sense. Listen, we have Royal Arena. It's in Ama. It's uh, the airport is there. It's a freeway. There's no better place. This is, look, when you look at Hamburg, this is in the city, a lot of traffic. It's not like that in Copenhagen. They will be thrilled to have it. Denmark is a five point something, six million people. They, when they hear something about TV, oh, we want to go there, you know, Familian Denmark will come. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll ride bikes there from the airport. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like Denmark? Yeah, I love it. Denmark is a cool city, you know, <laughs> we're a lot free. There's a lot of freedom in Denmark. They will love to have UFC. Bring them, please, UFC. Who's in charge? I don't know, Dana. Who's in charge? Yeah, Dana. Dana, when, Dana. When you sign your new contract, yeah. write, write it in Dana, there. Dana, bring it to Denmark, Dana. Come on, baby, that's where the Vikings are from. Bring it home. <laughs>